My name is Megumi Masaki, and um, I've kind of got a brand. You might have heard Music for Eyes and Ears. It's sort of a brand that I perform under. You'll hear my name associated with Music for Eyes and Ears. And it's a project that um, I have been developing ever since I think I was eight. Um, and so I'll get to that a little bit more. People think it's like a recital program, but it's really not. Um, so what I'm going to briefly do today is I'm going to talk about what do I do, why do I do it, and how do I do this a little bit as much as I can. And as hopefully there will be lots of questions, so that's my email address. You can ask me questions anytime. So um, primarily I'm a pianist and a multimedia performer. Uh, trained, as you can see, I'm Japanese, so of course as a good Japanese daughter I learned how to play the piano. Um, and my training is, was really traditional, very, very traditional um, classical-based uh, programming and training uh, in Canada and in England where I did graduate studies. Um, but I was always encouraged by wonderful people who, you know, I did all of the traditional repertoire, I was encouraged to explore my other voice. Um, uh, my other part of being is I am an educator. I have the pleasure to teach at Brandy University. I'm a professor of piano, and I'm also the director of the New Music Ensemble and the New Music Festival. There's information about us and about me, so if you are interested in the New Music Festival, uh, please do get in touch, because I also cu am a curator. Um, the Eckert Gramite National Music Competition, I have to give it a plug. I am the volunteer artistic director um, of this really wonderful national competition that celebrates uh, Canadian and contemporary music post-1950. It's every year. We are in our 41st year, and most of Canadian musicians that are working now have gone through this competition. Not most, I shouldn't say that. Traditionally, takes but many of them. Um, so I am a curator, so I'm really excited to get to know your work, so please do get in touch because we are in Brandon, Manitoba, in the middle of the prairies. Very cold place to be, but very warm-hearted people, and we'd love to include you in the programs. I thought instead of talking about who I am and what I am uh, and why I do this, I thought first I'll just show you little clippets. This is uh, a trailer of the last project that I did. Um, called, uh, it's an album, uh, DVD, and uh, well, actually a Blu-ray disc, and a CD, double disc, thank you, center discs, and for many people, um, and I thought I would just show you uh, what do I do. Live uh, 
creating the visuals and creating um, the electronic sounds, processing the piano as well as interactive <coughs> electronics. What's interesting to me is that when it comes to video, when it comes to, um, they really get shy. It's like I really would love to be able to just like in a trio, um, be able to show the three, three of us really interacting with each other. So that's the next step of the videos is to make it to really show the interaction between us. What's amazing also about Keith, what I love about the interaction about uh, in, uh, you know, having a team that you work with and develop things with is that it starts with one element, how you're interacting, and then it creates the next element with the latest piece, Corona, which Keith and I collaborated on. Um, the piano is the generator, so the p piano generates not only the acoustic sound, the process <coughs> sound, the electronic sound, but also the visuals as well. So that's uh, a really very cool thing. He's also created um, I call it the, the magic with the theater, the, the, the force above the piano so that I can really use the space around it to <coughs> trigger events and trigger sounds um, in a very intuitive and very musical way. Like actually Hannah Gruber was saying, that it gave us a chance to 
look at an idea or a question that we have and explore it from different perspectives. And that, for me, is really the big why, <coughs> um, why I do what I do. Um, what I also love about it is this idea that what is the performer and what is the creator of, of a work. And I find it very exciting to be in an environment where I can ask a question and like, you know, I can see so many possibilities with this body, so it's very exciting. And say like, okay, ask a question and see where that leads and then see how others in different fields, how they come um, to answering that question or exploring it and getting together and exchanging those ideas so that the performer and the creator have, um, those boundaries have uh, been eliminated. Um, what actually, really excites me also is technology. I find that the, you know, I'm actually pretty old and getting to know all of the different technologies that we have used to it. For example, when I was um, a 10 and 11, um, Echogrammate was a very powerful force in Winnipeg, Manitoba, where I was raised, or raised and she uh, was married to an expressionist painter. Um, and so I traveled around the world with these giant paintings or copies of these paintings, um, having to pay a lot for airfare so that I could have the paintings and the, and the piano with me. Um, and so now the technology, it's, it's just become so much more, so much easier and also so much more interactive. So of course, Inter integrating the different media and for me it was interesting also to hear what everyone's talking about is not just the integration of the media for the sake of what can you do but also it creates something else the, ex the other media or the <coughs> other expression is for me really the powerful force of this of course it expands it pushes me to be a, a more than a pianist um, to uh, develop a completely di different technique and different use of space and stage. Um, I get to, through these um, interactive um, and uh, interdiscipline uh, works, really get to explore my culture. I was born in Japan, raised in the States and in Canada, lived in Germany for almost 15 years, also in Paris and London, so I really can explore all of my experiences, memories, as, as you also indicated, and space. Luckily, also, I, I have the chance to really think about the ecology. My son is a biologist, really sort of bringing up political and social issues <coughs> that music and text very powerfully brings up. I can bring that in the music. Um, I am getting a, um, a short uh, uh, time indication, so I think I will leave this with a, another work as you can see, um, we were talking about authorship a little bit earlier on. I'm really excited about this. The authorship is very long, so for concert programmers, it's a little confusing, but um, it's, it was myself, Ken, Stephen, Jean, and Vito. And our process was to get together in Connecticut. I'm part of this, we call ourselves a, schling, a slingshot kido, kido's ensemble in uh, Japanese. And we just sat in a room and talked about ideas. We didn't have anything also planned, but except that we really wanted to collaborate with each other and wanted to sort of share voices and share experiences. And sat in a little room and then we'd go off uh, in, in, um, in our own ways and, and think about what we talked about and then come back after a few days with different things and different thoughts. Sometimes we'd pair off and actually work together on ideas and sometimes we would just you know, get back together. And at the end of this, we were, this was the Dark Music Days Festival in Iceland. And we had worked on that, I think probably a year and a half was the create, the beginning of the creation. And we met sort of every, lucky, lucky enough every you know, three or four months. And then finally we met for the, for the last time in, in Iceland and um, got together and sort of finalized the work the, the day before. So this is just an excerpt of As If, text created by Vito Pasquale. He put as if into a computer and generated text. Gene Gordon created visuals. Stephen Pierce is a wonderful choreographer. He was asking me to dance, which I absolutely love to do. Ken Steen is a composer and, and myself. So let me just play this short excerpt of this. What I also love is to invite audiences to, to integrate into the performance. 
So I started actually in the audience and the lights were worse for wear. Visuals were happening and nothing happened at the beginning. All they could see was a stage with a piano not where they expected, the bench not where they expected, and it was silent. <coughs> nothing happened for a few minutes. And eventually I'm encouraged to stand up and I dance my way onto stage. And you can see there's markers for me because I'm not as an experience of a dancer as I wish I could be. And so I was with choreography, with the staging in place, I made my way onto the stage in a very unconventional way, really drawing upon Awa Odori, which is, I'm from Shikoku, the a southern island just off the main island of Japan. And Awa Odori is something that is a huge sake-induced celebration of like Japanese rags in traditional costumes. Very, very unexpected for the Japanese culture. So we drew on that, of the Awa Odori dance, and also of the question based really on memories. 